Here's my second water walk of today. The day after uh, a two inch rain in four hours last night. And uh, this eastern bis uh, or canal is full. Not running strong, but full. I'm going to follow it back and sort of look, go to my regular haunts. I got to remember to stop for beauty now and then. This is a cardinal flower. I'll look back where I've come from. Things look really perfect. That's the ground that the pigs rooted up this spring, and uh, it's not irrigated. Uh, it'll it'll take a, a, a year, a season, to end up looking like this down here. But if I can get it irrigated, it'll it'll happen sooner. That depends on whether or not I can get water to the aqueduct. More cardinal flower, but look at this. Aha! That's why it's not running strong down there. Uh, I've got my hoe, not my shovel here, but I'm going to shut that uh, breach off. I had a piece of cloth here that I'd used before, but uh, it, it wasn't in the right spot needed right now. Now if I had my shovel I could shut this off better, but I'm going to go on up. There, may, there probably are some other breaches. There were. I want to say that the way the vegetation uh, washes here, uh, in a sheet like uh, makes me pretty sure that what is above here was a clay uh, mine or whatever you call it. Uh, I think that's probably pure clay underneath most of that vegetation which would explain why it wouldn't hold on better. I don't know it's just kind of unusual to see it wash in sheets like that instead of making gullies. Uh, I think that's what's going on here. I, I Eventually I'll figure out more, but I suspect in addition to the iron mines they were, that clay was also harvested up here. Gained, I think they maybe say. That's where I've been. See how much water is going by the weir up there? That was quite a rain. Here's what's going on at this weir. I call this Jeffrey Weir. Uh, I'm tempted to not uh, uh, shut these off because I already have plenty of water down there, but I, I guess I will. You know, the level's going to go down. So I think I'll shut one, two, and three places about, maybe just two. I'll just put a rock under the cloth. There, that'll do for now. Uh, I'll be back here soon, you can count on it, but already I've got way more water out along that hillside than I'm going to need at the present. Look at the way she's eating that grass or sedge with relish. I think maybe the water just needed to be the dressing like vinegar on a salad. Remember Jim and Jam? That's where I had put them the last time that I had any hope of getting water out here to the aqueduct. Th this whole bis has been dry for a month or month and a half. Here's the folk fold, the outhouse. And I'm working my way up Grandpa Jim Bis, but I want to point out that it's it's almost dry here. So that water that it's passing onto the field is for, for the present mostly water that it caught in that rain, not water supplied from a weir. Now that means that if you don't have a stream going across your property, that's not an excuse to not use this system of zanj. In Spanish it would be zas with an H. Zanj is the infiltración. Zanj is of infiltration. Uh, the rain, you can harvest the rain this way. At this point, the bis is dry. Now, I'm, in a way, I'm almost glad to see that because from where I'm standing, all the way out on that perfect contour line out to the field, that is all because of that rain. It does not depend upon the input from a weir. Now let's go see what's going on at the weir. Okay, the weir is producing water. Uh, there's 
obviously a lot's going by. I, I'll see if it's major breaches or whatever. See, that's the water that I have available if I were capturing 90% of it at the weir. Maybe you can remember the yellow bucket. There it is. You can see it. Give you an idea of where I am. Well, here we are at Grandpa Jim Weir. There's leaks. Well, you know there's leaks. There was a big one that was taking all the water somewhere in there a little bit earlier. I didn't add and fixed it yet. But anyway, uh, there's plenty of water here. And uh, I'm not even going to fix any of these leaks, I don't think. What I did do was remove a lot of small blockages of leaves and sticks. After all, I haven't maintained this in a month or a month and a half. So I think the, the, this water alone will probably supply that aqueduct. Now we'll see. It comes uh, sometimes stronger a day or so after the rain because the mountain soaks so much up in among all the stones and stuff. It takes quite a while to let it let it out. It doesn't just come rushing down like it would through a field or a gully. I'm going to be going down the uh, West Canal uh, and this is Michael Weir. What a, what a water supply. And you can see that in that heavy rain it washed down the mountain. It washed right through here. This is the material for a bridge I get to build here. And it shot right on out through there. There's probably all kinds of blockages there. But I'll just clean this up. You can see that with this double weir, I'm capturing most of the water that would otherwise go down the natural drain. But don't worry about that. It always has water. It'll get water. And this, I'm sure, is breached in many places. Nice gum tree, and I think this is a sassafras. Well, I know this is a sassafras. So, here's the first breach, and I could have predicted where it would be. Uh, I may eventually put a water wheel at this site because it's just such a perfect place for it. Well, I'm going to patch that. There's my patch on the barn that held up in that tremendous rain. Sorry about the shaky hands there. And uh, what I'm filming is I want to show you that interface. On the right is irrigated pig pasture. On the left is unirrigated pig pasture that's newly uh, plowed up, rooted up. So it, it, it'll turn green too, but, but probably not like, not like the irrigated. And up there is goat pasture, unirrigated uh, for now. But from what I saw, I may well be able to irrigate that yet this August.